Hey everyone, this is Noshi Exgen and welcome to my channel again and in this video we're going to see that uh, latest game loop version uh, and after the upgrade uh, how we can change the settings and how to configure settings for uh, 120 and have a FPS for your Call of Duty mobile experience so uh, so here's the output you have already been seen and uh, now I'm going to show you that uh, the configure and the setup for the game loop latest version. So first, you can see uh, currently uh, the game loop, and uh, I have already uh, updated to the latest version. You can see the update check; it's the latest one, 5.1. And uh, here, so here is the some settings for new game loop. Also, uh, here go to first settings, settings window from your emulator settings then go to the engine and make sure you turn on this OpenGL plus or the 120 or above a piece you won't get so make sure you turn it on OpenGL plus and set the uh, first four options you can see make also enabled the fourth options like enable rendering cache force global rendering prioritize your discrete graphics card and enable rendering optimization basically uh, if you have rtx card like 3060 4060 something or above you can easily on to balanced so you can easily get more real fps and if you have enough memory like i have 16 gigabytes but it also shows like uh, 2 uh, gigabytes but uh, make sure your memory set it to the automatic and processor also set to it to automatic the resolution you must know because the resolution also optimizing your gaming experience so make sure it's set to the lower um, like uh, 1366 into 768 set it to the uh, lowest one and set the screen dpi to 40 as default and uh, you can choose the model to asus uh, jrox or jrock or jrock whatever and uh, choose your game loop uh, your preferable uh, like template like i'm using call of duty mobile to set to hd 720p for giving like 120 above fps and set the graphics quality to automatic as you know that call of duty mobile doesn't support any kind of extra fps template template so that's why i'm using this kind of customized template so yep you have to also do that so if you have you if, if you're also playing uh, pubg mobile like pubg or battleground game which is also included the fps the max fps you will get 90 fps but you can easily get around 120 to 200 fps playing the bgmi or pubg mobile so after saving this uh, you need to open the game uh, from your emulator i have already opened my game you can see it's my game but uh, when you open the game from the emulator marketplace you can see from call of duty mobile if i press this open and your game will be opened here but make sure you're going to um, uh, like exit your game uh, so first we need to also uh, set up some uh, co configure some game thing from the emulator uh, like player itself so basically emulator is a gaming device also so you need to also configure your device before you start playing so make sure exit your game from here from the back you can see just keep clicking with your mouse and it will exit 
now press f9 from your keyboard so you can see uh, while pressing f9 you will get more op more options and um, uh, much options uh, like your before and when you press it again it will like uh, just shrink from uh, the uh, from the position so press f9 and uh, open your settings like your emulator settings and just uh, just go down all the down all the way to your about tablet you can see here is the about tablet option so if you're not enable the developer option make sure you press the build number three times to open the developer option because it is saying like now you are now a developer and you can access the develop uh, developer or development processes so here is the developer options you can see from these options you can easily enable much more things like you can first you need to disable some uh, settings like i've already mentioned and uh, sh show you a previous video so like uh, you need to turn off these animations kind of things which create uh, lots of bugs over there and just simply turn it on like force gpu rendering also turn it on like force 4x msa like when are you are using opengl plus it will uh, configure with 4x msa to give you a better and smooth gameplay so after that just uh, simply uh, go back and uh, open your game again and start playing and see if if you have um, 120 or above fps or not so let's check it out let's open like uh, show fps so we can easily count our fps using uh, this method so let's see you can see already shows like 120 and now i'm going to log with my account login in you can see and now it's now loaded you can see it's 99 percent so it also depends on your network connections the lagging thing so you can see it opens like first error you can see is my 222 like so let's create a multiplayer and let's see let's uh, let have it look like what's fps it count for so we have a small and sweetest team I think those are completely bots but let's see you can see it's a uh, 15 FPS is also depends on your fucking I mean sorry uh, like your internet connections make sure you have a good in internet or it don't work so let's see if we can get around 120 it also depends on the many things. You can see my gameplay is not that much good. But yeah, I start playing again. So I think I can easily manage and... Manage to show you my skills. Or I can... Killed again. Be so I have hit it by some. Some chopper. Like we have a bot thing basically. They are not playing well. Then see. Me also. You can check you will get around 50 to 60 right now with these settings because my uh, graphics card also not that much capable of uh, getting around uh, above the 60 fps right now it's old basically so if you need more proof like 120 fps you can easily watch this video now you can see on my screen uh, desktop screen so we can watch it right there.
They also operated some nuclear weekends, so killer drone deployed. I'm dead. Really they know how to play try so lost this game. But you'll get around 50 to 60 and if you have like the newest graphics and uh, and if you configure it well you will get like 120 FPS. So that's all for this video. Uh, so that's all for this video. If you um, get this video is helpful, uh, helpful for you for your game loop configuration do subscribe my channel and you can share this video with your friends also thank you